Alright, IT Jedis, what I'm going to do uh, is uh, show you how to set up OSPF. Let me first of all say welcome to the human science. Uh, and this is a networking tutorial. If you're here, I'm assuming that you already have the basics of uh, subnetting uh, down. And so, without that knowledge, uh, this will be like... Portuguese if you don't speak Portuguese so um, just to get started uh, and I tell you what's going on here we got two routers we got to configure OSPF we got to uh, configure the Salta router here, here to conf to share information about all directly connected routes with the Jajui router Jajui <laughs> Wow what what do you want to bet that that was some programmer's name that put this program together? He just threw his stuff in there, and Salto, wow, Salto, yeah. Anyway, uh, so uh, I don't even know why I was like s slipping into Wolfman Jack deal, you know, when my voice is kind of talking like some kind of DJ Jack from the 1970s. Anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, uh, first of all, let's look at the Jetui router here. We're going to hit Enable, and we're going to hit Show. For those of you that don't know that that's, that's a shortcut, let me go ahead and do the long hand. Show IP Protocol. See? By doing a show IP protocol, you get this nice little bit of information that tells you what uh, the OSPF process ID this is using. See? A vast virus database has been updated. <laughs> well, now that you all know what antivirus I'm using, uh, please don't try to hack into my system. Appreciate it. So anyway, what we got here is the OSPF process ID. Uh, we also have uh, all the routing networks, okay? Uh, as we can see right here, right here, and right here. Alright? So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to configure our network router, uh, our other router over here to OSPF. Okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is go in here. Uh, let's just do a little test. Show IP protocol. Work on this router over here. Oh, I forgot to enable. Guess that would help. Okay, now show IP protocol. Okay. What the hell? Why would it do that? Hmm. Well, that's because there is no IP protocol. That's what we're here for today. Ah, yeah, that's a little embarrassing. I should probably edit that out, but then what fun would that be? So you're going to encounter stuff like this all the time, so you might as well see um, somebody else screw it up and then fix it. Okay, so since we don't have an IP protocol here, we're going to create one. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to conf t, configuration mode, we're going to go router OSPF, and we're going to use the 100 process ID that we learned from the other router, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit network, and we're going to put in our 172 dot seventeen dot uh, what was it uh, one fifty dot one forty we're gonna have to add the wildcard mask and that would be zero two five no sorry that would be three and how do we come up with that number refer to my wild card mask video and it will be very clear to you hopefully so 
Uh, this is your wildcard master. You gotta have that when you're configuring your networks for OSPF. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go area zero. Why zero? Well, that's just the rules. All networks uh, must be connected to area zero. It's just you know the protocol, the laws of protocol, if you will. Blame it on Cisco, but that's how it goes. So we hit enter there. What we're also gonna do here is come back and put in our uh, fast Ethernet networks. Okay. And we can see our fast Ethernet networks right here. Alright, so that's a 192.168.1.0. Notice I didn't put 100, I put 1 because that's going to be actually the default gateway uh, for the network. And I'm going to change my my mask, wildcard mask, to 255. Uh, that's because this is a 24, a network with a slider of 24 in the subnets, and so that's why we did that. Hit enter, do your up arrow, come over here and put in your 2 network, okay, uh, again, and that's going to correlate to this, alright, and I know you're thinking, Maybe you're thinking, why did he put 2 when that says 101? Again, subnetting basics, uh, refer to the subnetting videos, and that'll make a little more sense, okay? Uh, so, hit enter. We're going to hit control Z. We're going to copy, run, start. And... Now, let's click done and see what our results are. See if we scored 100%. And indeed, we did score 100% here. Uh, we ran the OSPF on the both fast Ethernet ports, our interfaces, and we ran the OSPF on the serial interface. We saved the changes, and therefore, we've completed our task. Uh, if this helped you out, subscribe. Uh, comment. If it sucked, find another video. Later.